Well, this is uh, day two for uh, drying the mushrooms. The start of day two, I guess. But they've been drying for quite a few hours yesterday and overnight. And a lot of them are starting to feel uh, quite dry. They've lost a lot of their moisture content. They're feeling dry, so, sort of like paper, almost, kind of thing. Or soft wood, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyway, I put them up on the edge like this so that it gives a really good airflow all the way through and around all of the mushrooms. And uh, one thing you can do if you use this system, you're actually uh, probably better off if you can afford to buy a dehydrator, a proper dehydrator. It's, uh, I think, a little more simplistic and uh, it's not so much about how fast it does it, but uh, it does it over a nice slow rate, which is like what I'm doing too, but I don't know. It's probably just easier for you if you had a dehydrator, but this this works for me all the time. I've been doing this with my chanterelles for a very long time. Anyway, so if you want, when you're uh, doing this, if you um, are curious about it, you can always take them like this uh, a couple times a day or whenever you feel like it, flip them over and just sort of see what they look like and see what they feel like and everything. And if you want, I've done it where in the past where I've taken each and every one of them and just flipped every one over just to um just for something to do because i want to make sure they dehydrated perfectly and evenly but you don't really need to do that if your setup is good enough like this and uh, you got enough airflow in and through and around all the mushrooms they'll just dry slowly and naturally on their own but uh yeah so that's a uh, start of, well yeah pretty much the start of day two i guess and uh We'll let you know uh, how they turn out uh, in the end. All right, we've got to move on. Ciao for now. Yeah, so those wood bricks, uh, they kind of slowly, slowly burned overnight there. And uh, they lasted for... Uh, that's the flash of my uh, camera here, not not anything burning inside there. Um, yeah, they burned slowly over for quite a few hours. And oh, in the late wee hours i kind of woke up it was a little bit cool in here and i noticed the uh um the fire had gone out and i just was too exhausted and, and lazy and everything and i didn't want to just burn some more bricks just for a couple hours so i just turned my propane heater on and uh, lay back down for a while and until it warmed up again and uh, then just uh, turned everything off so yeah so anyway that's how they burned out down all like that everything just burned right down to ashes and that so uh gives me a good base to start again and uh i'll just get some small hot coals going and put a couple of bricks on and uh it'll be good for most of the night and also the glass it's got a little bit of a build up on it, a tiny bit of a brown build up but nothing absolutely nothing like it was before and uh I think I believe that the damper situation is is what changes that totally, and this will get a bit of a film on there, but it, it that's about all it's going to be like for quite a while, and uh, then it'll be a lot easier to keep it clean and uh, you know watch the ambience of my fires. <laughs> all right, we got to move on and do some other stuff. Okay, ciao for now. You might be wondering what I do with the mushrooms when I drive around. Anyway, I just put them on the floor like, floor like this. And I slide the two pieces together like that. And uh, I just leave them like that. And uh, I drive really uh, evenly and smoothly. I don't uh, race around and do crazy stuff. So, uh, yeah, they just sit like that. They might slide around on the floor a little bit. But uh, they never, ever... Uh, fall off because like i say i take it easy out there i don't uh, drive like a maniac so yeah so i come back and they're just like this when i come back and maybe in a slightly different position on the floor <laughs> all right we got to take off now and uh, head out and go do some more grocery shopping and stuff so let's do that wow look at the day today look at the day today huh isn't that fantastic? Fantastic. Wow. It's actually quite chilly out here. It's like just above zero. But a uh, really beautiful, gorgeous day. So you don't mind that too much at all. So.
here we are. I'm uh, gonna get the girls together and throw them in the truck and uh, take off and uh, hit the hit the stores for a bit. So we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now. So here's a special update to the uh, Halo View uh, review and a promotional code in case you want to pick one up and get a discount on it. Um, this is basically how it works. You, uh, I'm gonna put a link below in the descriptions below in this video, including all the other videos right back to the uh, Halo View review itself for uh, going online and uh, acquiring the Halo View. There'll be a link there for purchasing. <coughs> and my promotional code is BAMTHOW with the three, three A's. <laughs> Baby and Angel and me, Tiny House on Wheels. Bam, thou. That's the promotional code, but that'll also be in the descriptions below on all those videos right up till today and maybe down the road here. Um, so that's just an update. If you uh, check, go online uh, there on the one link and uh, order up a, a product um, and use my promotional code, you apparently get a discount. So. I'm hoping that works for everybody and I uh, hope everything, you know, comes together like that. So just an update on uh, Halo View uh, review and promotional code for you guys. So uh, go check that out and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now. So they are out of my favorite sesame, toasted sesame oil, the Maison Orphe. They're out of that one. But thank goodness they have this one here, a smaller uh, bottle of toasted sesame oil. Can't go without that, and I'm very low on it, so got to get one of these. All right, here we go. And we got to have garlic. We cannot run out of garlic. And this is some of the best garlic in the world. Let's get a couple of those, yeah. There we go. Should last a few minutes or so. <laughs> and we're gonna need some kind of cheese on hand, so we're gonna get Scottish cheddar and red Leicester. That's what we're gonna do. Those two will be very, very good. There we go. And I think we'll do some little baby, baby uh, Brussels sprouts. How's that? Let's do that. That should be enough for a couple of meals anyway, for sure. Yeah, there we go. Since I'm here, we got to do a couple of these yams. I haven't had yams for a little while now. So we'll just get a couple of those ones. There we go. There we go. Put them in the bag. There we are. And we got to get a couple of my favorite apples here. These ones here are Fuji. Fuji apples, they're usually the best. We got a couple of those. And these honey, or actually ambrosia, are just fantastic. So we gotta do those. That's uh, some apples for the day. And we definitely gotta get a couple of these ginger beers here. This is the best ginger beer I've found anywhere. So let's get those in there. There we go. There we go, whoops. And some dehydrated pineapple. I really love this stuff. This stuff is really good. 
trouble is I eat it so fast. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. I think we're all done. Okay, I think we got enough for one day, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, we are home now. So let's see how well I drove. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. The box of the mushrooms barely even shifted at all. Barely even shifted at all, yeah. All right, here we go. There's one bag. <laughs> I need to get the other one. Let's go. And here's the first bag of stuff we got. <laughs> at our first stop. Oi, 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 oi. These are heavy. They're heavy. There we go. Grocery shopping. <laughs> Ciao. So this is the first bag of stuff I got from the first stop. I had to get some uh, potato chips. Yeah, gotta have some potato chips. <laughs> and this is some of the best juice in the world, this stuff. This stuff is fantastic. It's not from frozen concentrate. It's actual real fruit pulp and water. And it tastes like a fresh squeezed fruit. So, then we got the Tim Hortons. We have to have hot chocolate. It's chilly out. Got to have hot chocolate. And this is some of the best coffee I've ever found anywhere. This stuff is really, really good coffee. And, uh, of course, got to have the uh, dairy milk. Fruit and nut bar. Yeah. Got to have a couple of those. And, of course, we had to have toilet paper. Uh, we can't clean our pots and pans and our kitchen counter and etc etc without toilet paper yeah that would never do and of course we got some kitchen garbage bags as well because we we're running real low so that was our first stop there <laughs> and then the second stop we made at uh, heaven on earth the natural food store in uh, downtown qualicum beach and you saw me get all this stuff over here everything over here you saw me get and then i remembered a few other things so I ran around the store and uh, grabbed a couple other things before we left the store. And so we had to get some of these uh, chestnuts here. These are Spanish chestnuts. They're delicious. And the dogs even love them. <laughs> so that's cool. And then we got some fancy mixed nuts here. We got all the tree nuts in there and no peanuts. Just all tree nuts. And I love the fancy stuff. I love those nut, uh, tree nuts. They're really good. And, of course, we got some uh, pine nuts here. I haven't had them in a while, and I just love pine nuts, and I put them in lots of things. And, of course, I had to have some fresh ginger. I haven't had fresh ginger for a while, just the powdered stuff. So we got a few things here, and uh, here we go. That's our shopping trip for this week anyway. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Ciao. I'm <laughs> gonna